feel like I should be on vacation with this outfit. Well, I hope everyone's doing super dandy today because for today's video, we're gonna be talking about 10, 10, 2022, that's hard to say, 2022 fashion trends you guys can make at home. And of course you guys can make anything at home, but I'm giving you guys the patterns, so it's it's really easy to make these at home. The first one is corsets. And I know these have been in, and well, they've kind of always been in, but I feel like now that the Met Gala just happened and there was a few celebrities there that wore corsets in their outfits, I think it's just going, going to get more popular. And honestly, it made me a little bit more excited about them because usually I'm not really a corset type of gal or corset because obviously it's not like a real corset where it's like, mm, real tight. it's like the bustier. But I found a few patterns. The first one I found was this one. And this one's so beautiful. I love it. I just want the exact same one, just the white one. Just this, I want this, I want this. Exactly what it looks like here, I want it. But if you don't sew, because I'm gonna be showing you some knitting, sew weight, and crochet patterns, I found a crochet corset. This one right here. Isn't it cool? It's so cool. And this one I love because each one, I guess these are test knitters that have done them or just like people that have bought the pattern and made them. They're just all so unique. Just like the different color, the different textures, just the different sizes. They all look so different, but the same at the same time. I'm just realizing now you probably can't see my pictures very well, so. Yeah, let's put me on the side, that looks cool. And then the last corset pattern I have here is a free one. I know you guys love free patterns and I do too. So I found a whole bunch of free patterns in my list. So this is the first free pattern I have here. Have, have here. And it is by Mood Fabrics, which is my absolute favorite place to go for free patterns, just because the sizes are amazing. It goes from like zero, zero, all the way up to 32, I believe. It's just like amazing wide variety of sizes and they're just always coming out with good patterns, like nice, up-to-date patterns. Good. I haven't used this one, but you know, they're good. Next one is a little bit more risque. N not really, but it's cutouts. A lot of trendy pieces now or trends right now have cutouts, whether it's like here or here or just like randomly. And honestly, I'm kind of digging it because for the summer, that is handy. That is real handy because then you don't get as hot. You get some breeze, you know, maybe here or your back. Like that's, that's innovation right there. That's, that's great. So I'm excited for cutouts. I don't know if I'll be like super on that trend and wearing them like every single day, but you know, I'll have a piece or two in my wardrobe that has cutouts. So the first one I found was this one right here and it's not like too risky, like, you know, just a little bit of cutout here and here. It's a nice top, it's unique, it's amazing. I like it. It actually comes with a YouTube tutorial too, like which are my favorite patterns. It's ones that have tutorials and I can watch it and do it with the person at the same time, you know? But the next one I have is a dress. And this one's not so risky. It's just got a little bit of cutouts here. I think it's more in the back, just a, just a little bit, you know, handy for summer. Get a little bit of breeze in the back so you know you don't get like the back sweat. And it's also nice and flowy, this dress. So it's just like, oh, it's perfect. I think I should make this one before I go on vacation this summer because this one is just like, oh, it's practical. And the last cutout piece I have here is a tank top. And this one's probably the least, mm, nah, you know, we got some cleavage there. Mm, I don't know. It's, it's a little bit risky, I guess. I guess all these. No, the last one wasn't really risky. I don't know. Next, this one, I, okay. Focus, focus, Jenna. And it's like minimalist luxury, where it's simple, but looks really nice. But it's simple, you know? So the first one I found is a top. It's this tank top right here, and it's a dupe for, I don't remember, but Lainey wears it all the time here on YouTube. And oh my goodness, every time she wears it, I get so jealous. It's so beautiful, that top. And then when I saw someone made a pattern of it, I just knew I had to make it. But the next one is a free pattern, and it's also by Mood Fabrics once again. It is this top right here. 
And this one's just like really nice because you know you can dress it up or dress it down again. Like it'll look nice with jeans or it will look nice with a blazer if you want to be super fancy. So I, I just love those pieces that you can really dress up or dress down. I love the lace. I really have to find like the perfect lace for this top. I'm, I'm assuming Mood Fabrics has the lace for this top, but this top right here, I want it so bad. I want it so badly. Number four is a super, 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 super easy one. And it is Y2K Baby Tees. And this is something that I've just been wearing for years. I just, I just love baby tees. And it's honestly like my go-to top. You know, it's like a nice casual top. So I found two patterns for some baby tees. This baby crop tee. And then the next one is one I rave about all the time on my channel. I probably mentioned it in like four or five videos just because I, I love it so much. And it is my friend Kiana's cap sleeve top. It is amazing. I've made probably three or four short, short shirts. It's a shirt, not a short. And I wear them all the time. Next is bikini tops. And I, I probably wouldn't wear just like a bikini top in public. Like maybe at like a vacation. I'm definitely gonna be layering it maybe underneath like this top, but I really do like the idea of just a bikini top as a top. So I found some patterns for that. The first one is a knit one and it actually has these strawberries on it, but you don't have to add the strawberries. You could just take this pattern and do the general shape. I think this would be so cute under like a top like this or a blazer. If you're a sewer, you can make this one. This one's really pretty. I really like this in like a satin. So I would like a knitted one, a satin sewed one, and then I also want a crochet one. I found this vintage crochet patterns. I think it's like a dollar for this pattern. And oh my goodness, I want it. I want it. Next is school uniforms. You know, when you think of school uniform, those things like the skirts, the vest, nice little cardigans, the jackets. I like those, I really like those. So the first one I found is a knitting pattern and it's this vest right here, which I have not made a sweater vest. I have not knitted a sweater vest before. So I really need to do that because I really do like the kind of school look, uniform look. I do like that. And the next one is actually a free pattern. It has been on my list. The only reason I have not made it yet is because it is a little daunting just because it is a bigger project. It is I am just so proud I found this pattern because it is a, uh, you know, dupe of the Taylor Swift cardigan, you know, from her music video cardigan music video. Thank you. Next is puff. Puff sleeves, puffy dress, just puff, puff, puff. Ended up finding two patterns. So the first one is free, it is by Move Fabrics, and it is inspired by Bridgerton, you know, the Netflix thing. Anyways. I found this pattern, a nice puff sleeve, also kind of Bridgerton vibes. It's free, can't go wrong. So if you need a nice dress, I got it for you. Or if you want a super puffy one, the kind of like the Selkie inspired dress, I found one of those for you. It's called the puff dress pattern. And I really want it, even though I'm trying to make things that I'm actually gonna wear. Like I'd probably make this, keep in my closet, Wear it a few times. Oh, actually it'd be good for a wedding. Yeah, actually it would be good. I'm going to a few weddings. So scratch that. I want to make this for a wedding. To not to go for a wedding, not my wedding. I already, I already got married. Number eight is a knitted piece. And you guys know I love knitting. And I've mentioned this pattern before. It is this two-piece pattern by Speckle Speck. I still can't pronounce it but I really want a knitted two piece. I just, I just think that would be so fun. This one's a skirt and a jumper, a sweater. And oh my goodness, just imagine me wearing this full green, cause you guys know I love green. We can imagine that, right? So when I was researching, plain white tank tops came around a lot, which I was kind of surprised by that this is a trendy piece. Cause I feel like this is such a timeless piece that will never go to style. Like when would you not wear a white tank top? When would that go out of style? And I'm digging it. I love just wearing a basic shirt. I think everyone does. And I found some patterns so you guys can make some basic shirts. And this one, you can actually make three different 
things with it. It's actually a free pattern from Mood Fabrics and you can make a dress. You can make, I guess, two tank tops. A dress and two tank tops from it. And hey, if you can get a free pattern, you should take it. I'm only showing you one for this category because why pay for a pattern when there's a perfectly good free pattern right here? Unless you don't like it, then you can go find another one. But I thought this one was great. Okay, 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 okay. Last one. It is maxi skirts. And it's something that I'm a little bit on the fence, like I'm excited about it, but also I don't know if it's realistic for me personally, just because I, actually I do wear skirts in the summer, but I don't know about maxi skirts. I've never been one to really wear a ton of maxi skirts, so I should try it out. So I found two patterns for this. First one is this maxi skirt. It's like very flowy, you know? I can see this on vacation. This could look really good with a little bra top. Right? I like that. I like that idea. I'll wear that. But if you're not into the big poofy kind of out there skirts, I found one for all you minimalists out there. I found this one. Do you guys like this one more? It's pretty, right? It's just like a nice, simple skirt where you can wear with a bra top or you can wear with like a hoodie. Like I, I like wearing skirts with a hoodie. It is so comfy. It is incredibly comfy. But this one I feel like it'd be really nice just with a simple pattern or you just gotta go all out and make like bright skirt. That's just my suggestion. Like just go all out with this. Like don't be simple, make it out there. Like I could wear it with these cowboy boots, right? Well, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little bonus video on my channel. I know I've only been posting once a week, but I decided I wanted to do two a week. It's been a while since I've done two in one week, so. But if you have made any of these patterns I have mentioned down below, let us know if you liked it, if you didn't like it, or if you have patterns you like more, just let me know all your favorite patterns down below that you know will fit in these 2022 trends. Other than that, that is it for today's video. That is it. So I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.